Hello, we're in Hoopa Valley on uh, Lindsay Street. One, two, three, four officers. It's a warrant. No, it doesn't affect you. Warrant, 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 warrant. No, it doesn't affect you. No, I'm telling you, you're interfering. Don't get stepped back out of the way. I'm not stopping anybody. Just please step back. No. No, I'm sorry. No. Okay, right now we're serving, we're serving a search warrant. Okay. You went down her upper. Don't her upper. No, you cannot. If it you have no standing. If it affects me, then I should. You have no standing on the property. No. I have permission for you. No, it doesn't matter. Now I believe they're serving a warrant. I need you to step back. Then you can be a subject to arrest for interference. Because we're telling you, it's you need to step down. Not a First Amendment rights, but right now at this property, we're serving a warrant. Okay, well, can I see the warrant if it affects me? No, you cannot. Because I am on the property. If it affects me, I should be able to see You have no standing on the property. We don't have to see the medical issue. Okay, but if the warrant affects me, how does it affect you? Well, I'm going to be arrested in the right? I'll give you a lawful order to step back. Can I please? No. Are you detaining me? If you do not step out of our way. The gun is right there. No. No? Okay, so he's refusing to call his supervisor. Right. That's right. 148G. I'll be arrested. You're all on. But he won't let me see the warrant even though it affects me in the first place. You have no standing on the property. I have permission to do that. It doesn't matter. You have no standing. You have no legal standing. I need to be the offer the law. Okay, so. I don't have to. The owner requested help from others. Okay. You cannot dictate what happens. I'm not, I'm no. not trying to dictate. So I'm not trying to dictate. Anything. But why why can't we record in document? Record from back there. I'm record all you want. I'm not going to We can record right now. We want. No. We record anything we can see, sir. Not in our right yeah, hand. Anything we can see. Once we serve the warrant, you build the wall. We're, we're taking control, the control if you don't want us to see. Yeah. Yeah. No? No. You need to move. Even though you're going to arrest me, you still want to call me No. Okay, can someone Wait, why is it? Why is he receiving a warrant and just not regular documentation? Why have they brought it to this level of a warrant? Could we? We're just providing security for the Department of Food and Agriculture so we can conduct their operations. Because we've actually asked for the homeowner has actually asked for our help to document what's going on because he's scared. You have one, two, three, from outside four. But right now, since we're serving a search warrant, we're taking control of this property under the warrant. We're not allowing anybody else in. Okay? What is your badge number, please? Go ahead, go ahead and say it again. I'm hard of hearing, sorry. I am hard of hearing on my left side. One, three, four, five, six. Okay. So. Um, We've had persons that do bully uh, tactics, and uh, it, you're serving a warrant, and there's four officers here. Another cop just drove up. This is this is why homeowners are scared. You have to understand, this is why homeowners are scared. You've got five officers here for chickens. People are petrified. No, but people are petrified. That's why they're asking for help. There's no crimes being carried out there. No, there, there, there's, well... You don't have any work to do, you just don't want to stand around. That's what we pay you for, just stand around and, and uh, waste our money. Waste the taxpayers' money. I mean, I've had... Is, is that what it is? Is that what it is? You tell me, is that what it is? We just waste our money to have you guys stand around here? There's no crime being committed here. Except for you. There, everything was safe here until you brought those guns. Everything was safe. Everything was safe. Actually, sorry, another, there's another highway. What is your badge number, please? What is your badge number, please? Is that my name? Is that what you tell the judge? Is that what you would tell a judge when presenting? I don't think so. Is that what you tell the judge? You, you work for me, sir. Smith, what is your badge number? You already gave it to the person? Okay, so so if you you said that to your employer, Gun. wouldn't you expect to get fired? Gun. 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 Tony.
And we wonder why homeowners are scared to death of these right, people. Here comes more, more cops, more cops to, to, to get the crime, to get the crime stopped. Officer, can right, I get your name, ben please? Willows. What's that? Your name, right, please, and badge stop number. Crime. Ben Willows. Again, you're here to stop crime. Oh, okay. One seven two one three. Okay. All right. So they kind of explain to you what was going on. Yeah, they I, said there was I, no, they just they said there's a warrant, yeah, and they're very so upset with us standing here recording hey, here, it. Here's the thing: is with, with a warrant, it, it's very clear. So if we have a warrant for the property, which CDFA does, it's uh, so they, they serve the warrant, correct? So they're ser they're serving a warrant right now for the property. While they serve the warrant, you guys have to back up to the property line. That's every warrant we do, okay? So okay, that's all, that's all they're explaining. Is can I? You, you can come back to the property line. And you can film from here all you want. They all right. Just, after the warrant handle. is served, can we go on the property then? After the warrant is served. So when you're, we're talking about a completion of the search warrant, we're talking about when they're done doing their business on the property. So when they're done killing, then we can go talk I, to the owner. Whatever they do here wow. is, is what CDFA does. You guys we're, have we're, five cops here. I've had here. my car stolen, and I can't get one within we're an hour and a half. We're merely here to make sure that the, the warrant is served. These people are security in their home. Okay, if a judge says that it's okay to do to serve the it's warrant, it's a secret. Okay, they but want, they don't want to give the thing is, it's a it's a it's a blank warrant. It's a blanket it's a, warrant. It's a blanket warrant. There warrant. there is no name on it. There's no nothing. And so with a blanket warrant and, 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 and property warrants in general, we don't know who owns the property. Then we we usually serve it on the actual property we don't serve it on but the, but the honestly person. if they did their paperwork they should already know the owner of the animals that should be should be written we didn't in know, there. we didn't write the warrant. no we i know they have but that's just saying they're, they're skirting the we're, law we're just making sure that that the warrant gets served I, I don't know if you notice i'm dressed in black i just came from national cemetery so this is very disgusting that i would just return from a national cemetery and this is how our citizens are being treated right here so the, the I mean, line is, I would say the fence line. As long as you guys are about the fence line, you guys should be good. Okay, and I'm going to ask this because obviously CDF is acting like they're scared. Right. If we get permission from that neighbor over there or that one over there, can we look over their fence or you only have to the front fence? get permission from these. Well, he, we, he gave us permission. We have documented permission. So oh, he of, gave us documented and, permission. And a, and a lot of times... People don't like their backyards uh, videotaped just because of the privacy and all that stuff. And if they have other animals back there, they don't want to. No, no, no. He actually he gave us written. That's one of one of our clauses. We do have written permission okay. uh, by him. We did. That is one of our our requirements because we don't want to get sued by a homeowner or anything like that. Our own bad self. I mean, we're 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 crossing those T's, dotting those I's too. And you know, and, and by all means, if you guys have questions, I don't mind answering for you as long as I know the answer, but I know very little about what CDFA does. I just know about the search warrant. They're, they're bullies. And, the, and, and, <laughs> they, are. they, they, we, we've seen people being like given, we've seen people that speak around. Spanish, given English documents and shoved a pen in their face and told to sign. They don't even know what they're reading. I don't, I don't know anything. And we have people that can translate and help them. And this is what happens. We end up with a line to separate the owner. You admit that ADA has certain specific rights. That ADA? Not, ADA? ADA protects people. Oh, they, they do. They do. According to them. Well, I don't, I don't know anything. Because my mother is an ADA victim. She's an elderly woman. They keep my property. I tried to bully my mother when they euthanized her chickens. But she has vision problems. She is you know, she's protected by ADA rights. And she is also an elderly individual. If anybody else had done what they had done, and you guys would be arresting them for elder abuse. Honestly, I'm sorry if that happened. I don't, but I don't know who were, who's working for, you know, CDFA and all that. I don't know. Neither do they. They won't tell who they are. I, but I do know the officers on the ground here, and okay, we're, we're, we're gonna do this. Can we backtrack a little bit? Can they present their name to the owner? Because uh, we have yet. See the guy with the hat? This uh, talking to the owner directly. There's not a kill side around that knows that man's first and last name. And he's serving people with warrants. Would you let... Come on, come on. When, we, when you ask us our names, we have no problem giving you guys our names, do we? 
Um, my name's They're coming in and Daniel killing Rose. someone. <laughs> they went to the wrong address before. And I, I CDFA has it, went to the wrong really address happened. before in Rumeland. really bad, but I don't know about that. All I know is our portion with the search warrant stuff. And I, I, don't, I don't want anybody in trouble. I don't want anybody But I mean, to go can you imagine go? someone going to the wrong house and killing the wrong animals? That has already yes. happened last week. Yes. That yes. did happen. Um, and, and can you imagine complete strangers? Oh, like, complete strangers is... They don't give a name. Me? Yes, sir. Oh. Terry. Terry. Hi. This is, this is Banuelos. We just talked. Terry, you there? Hello. There's no gate hanging here. He does that to his, he does that to his officers, they all obey. Uh, no, he, he wanted anybody, even if they had to continue what they're doing, he just wanted someone to go through the documentation. Oh my gosh, you're going to have all a Hoopa Valley over here. What are they expecting, a frickin' shootout? You guys realize you guys are the ones armed, and the CDFA has guns. Wendy, are we going down? Are they going to arrest us for we us crossing this chain link pole? I mean, come on, we're reporting. We're not. <laughs> it's Oh my god, I was at a national cemetery today. I was at a national cemetery today. We're no more than paparazzis, and you guys are going to sit here and act like this. Uh, we're actually going to ask the neighbors right now. Hi guys. Are you guys the neighbors right here? Do you guys know that it's the neighbors right here? Uh, is it wet? Maybe yeah, I don't know. Well, that one's kind of blocked off. Maybe we'll see over here where the cars are. I, I, this, this is, this is overkill. I mean, I know, I know, I know they're, <laughs> I know they're guiding you and telling you guys what to say, but this is, this, this is overkill. This is insulting. I have people in the military. I have. We had one that passed away. Oh my God. Oh, you know what? Oh gosh, man, we got someone in town. that car illegally, sir. Um, your name, please. Everybody's presenting their name. Oh, no name. No. Terry wants us to accept the credit union access to the backyard because he said that. Uh, she just got off the phone with the lieutenant, and they're going to arrest anybody that does not comply. All right. Uh, Bill's going to go go around the corner. We'll keep him busy over here so I don't want you. See what you got to do. so I will provide the vehicle. There you go, Carrie. There you go. Don't fuck with me. There you go. There you go. There you go.
There you go. Not enough room to park. There you go. Oh, he's got a little screen over his. Uh, that one's not one of theirs. That's all right. Sir, can I ask you one more question? I can try my best to answer it. When they follow us and we have ringtones to prove it, we have the library over here at the corner that they went off the parking lot. Will you guys defend the public or you only defend a government? Sorry guys, I'm so pissed off right now. It's too hot to sit in your car, so if you're sitting in your car, we know you're part of them. Oh, maybe not. No, yeah, this one's a, this is a new one, the little brown one. Senior. Senior woman. Oh, Paul, did I get your vehicle? You're here again. We've been followed. We've been tormented. No, we have been. I have been followed to my driveway, and I'm not part of the chicken people or chicken, whatever. Mine's not on the kill list. <laughs> Give me a name. We have pictures of their faces. Give me a name. We have their license plate, but guess what? Every time they do a police report, guess what we get? Who are they? And what's their name? I, I, you know what? I literally don't know. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Is you guys don't know. You guys don't know what these people are going through at all. I, when I'm done with this phone, I'll show you the video of someone going into a YMCA parking lot. Okay. There's cameras and everything else. There was a police report made. Yes, they follow our protesters. They follow us. They go off the job and they follow us. So you know what? if I can Did she get permission? Try reconnecting. Oh. We got cut off over here. I never got your name. Officer Boren. Boren. He's a boy, O-R-E-N. Is Victor available to speak to What's your badge number, sir? Is that what you tell the judge? 15513. That's what? Thank you. So what's your job here? You just, you just here to stand around with the rest of them? You do rise. You're to waste a lot of time getting your paycheck. I'm not here to insult anyone, but the fact of the matter is, is you guys have the weapons, you guys have the guns, and they have guns in their cars. They have 22s or Pelican deciding their choice, because if a bird flies, they shoot them in these little yards, and they have, we have video of it. Um, we're, we're armed with a cell phone. 
So I want to make this very public to everyone with all these cops here. We are only armed with a cell phone in our hand and you guys are standing two feet apart from each other. Just for you, sir. Just for you. Let me see if we got access from the neighbor. Hang on, let's look at here. Did they did they talk to the neighbor over there on that side yet? I don't know. Okay. Because it was following you. Yes, they have. They have, and we've done a police report. But guess what we're told? What are their names and who are they? And we just know CDFA. And we have a license plate. Guess what? They don't run the license plate. I'm gonna find out if the neighbor here will allow us access to their yard. Now, mind you, they don't have to. They can not be involved if they want. And with all the police force here, I wouldn't blame them if they said no. I mean, I'd be scared shitless too to be involved. It looks like it's a damn drug bust. Doesn't look like it's for chickens. Hello? Hello? They might not be home. If they're not home, I definitely can't walk on their property. They're not answering, so they may be home, but too afraid to answer, or they might be at work. I mean, people do work. So, I, I'm not gonna interrupt or interfere them. You come driving down this street and you see all these cars on your street. I mean, there is, I mean, I've seen parties with less cars than what's going on down here. And it's all because he has a chicken. Oh, and he has, a, you know, they provided him with a warrant. And here's the, now CDFA has security, armed security, armed security. We're not talking about the security guard that keep the peace. No, no, no. We have armed security here. These are not keep the peace. Nope. This is not a keep the peace situation. All right. Well, do what I do best. Let's see what we brought today. We have, and I'm not touching, three canisters. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't see the sample box, so we're not doing samples today. We're just gonna kill. Box trot is on the name of that canister. Uh, oh, there we go. I cur I cannot read it sideways. You might be able to. We have our Bravo container. I don't know what's with the Bravo. All right. Oh, yes, we do. Have, we have our sample box here. Unidentified sample box, not secured in the truck. Hi. Hi, I'm, I don't know if you're with or for. I am, I am, and I'm really upset because uh, it's not right what they're doing. No, I, I just received a, a letter 
Oh, you got the letter too? Yeah, and then uh, I was trying to get in, in the uh, in a internet and uh, Facebook. To do the appeal thing? To do the appeal thing. Yeah, they, but I don't know how to been do it. Oh, you don't? Yeah, I, I don't see. know. I'm, I'm, I'm more like, a, you know, work, you know. I, that's, why, that's why they, uh, people have been asking for our help, but CDFA doesn't want us to try to help people. And then people apply for the appeal. Every time they apply for the appeal, uh -huh. it gets denied. And the next day they show up. Even if they tell you, oh, in, in a week we'll come, they'll show up the next day after the appeal. But uh, that's like okay. uh, you know, if you're not there, and my wife, she's not working. So she's kind of, she has uh, Yeah, a woman with all this police force, yeah, that uh -huh. would be very, yeah, very scary. When, before they give us that letter, a letter, the, they was banging on, the, on in my house, the door like a, like they want to turn the, the door off. Yeah, yeah, like breaking. Like, anyway. like, like, a, like a. They're beating on it. Right, right. It's not right. You know, you just uh, if someone not knock on your door and you don't answer because you probably you don't feel good, but uh, if they banging on the on the door, so you get you make the people more nervous. You well, know yeah, what you make them scared. And they're then, uh, they're my, bully. My my, my, uh, my wife, she has like seven surgeries already. And with this kind of, uh, you know, actions, she can get, you know, sick. Yeah. No, you know? that's it. It's, it, they're bullies. And they're yeah. pushing through. That's a sample box, but it's not identified as sample. Thank you, CDC. Center of Disease Control. Your samples are sitting out in the sun. Not identified box. Uh, yeah, it could be taken away if someone wanted to be that person. I am not, and I'm not stupid enough to touch it. Guys might think we're dumb as a rock, but we're not. Talking and are you that. in the neighborhood? You live in the I area? Am, yeah. I don't want, don't tell me, you're no. sorry, I'm live here. No, no, no. But you're I'm, in the general area? Yes, I am. Uh-huh. And uh, I had a letter that I need to make a phone call to make, a, to set an appointment with these people. But they don't give us a choice. They have to call. They have to give us a uh, Available day for them to come and kill it. Okay. And then they they, they say they are not gonna give us a test. Well, just our group kill it. is Save Our Birds. S O B. Yeah, I have it right here. On the Facebook. Yeah, so. Have, have yeah. Let us know. We'll we'll try to help. But they're getting where they're getting more and more police. They're making it. The people they're making it harder and harder yeah. to protect the people. The government is is being a bully. Not the one that says official. The one that says that SOB save our birds. There's like four thousand people on it. That one. There's twins, but don't go on the fake one. Go on the real one. Fake one too. Well, it's not. It's not the the same. The one that has all the information is that SOB save our birds. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Let. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. You got an important job to do. Get your ass in there. I'll try to call. Honey, you tried. CHP right now. He's scared. Did you see I didn't. I, I show, when I showed up here, they were already here. I walked up. Carter, the black guy. I was going. The other guy grabbed my arm. He was like, yeah. The other guy, Officer Carter, when I was on the wrong side, he was in. He went like this in my face. In my face. I saw them separate you over there. Was that what before I got here or after? Before you got. Before I got here. Shit. Now we need a couple of us just for the police department now. We can't be by ourselves. Public, when you come, you have to come in. You have to come in group. You're gonna video. You have to come because I didn't realize until right now. Until she showed up, they were they got in her face and physically touched her. And it was a male cop touch her. You know what? Let me get an interview. You know what? Tell me your story again. Male cop. What part of your body? Um, the male cop, I know I have it on video. I don't know where he's at. I'm still shaking. Arm, chest, shoulder, he, back. He grabbed my arm like this when I was just filming. I wasn't doing anything. I was just filming. And then Officer Carter over there got literally blocked me in my face. 
strong arming. He's over there. He was over there laughing. Like I asked them for their supervisor. They won't. They won't provide. Um, they won't have their supervisor come out. It's. They're just. Okay. How far onto the property when you got shoved? Exactly. I where was your location? I was by the well, gate. I mean, show me where you were standing. We're going to document this now while it's fresh. Show me where you were you were standing. If you can't go past them, that's okay. But if you were standing over here, show me where you were standing. Okay, you were standing where the lady is. Forward. And then I was coming around here, so I was... So you didn't go in the property. You were at no. the entrance of the gate. I was at the entrance of the gate. And how many cops were here at the time? Just the two of them? No, there was four or five. There was four or five. No, it five. was right before I showed up. Okay. And... Do, were you aware that you had to stand behind that post and was, that post at the time, or you thought you were safe because you hadn't entered the property yet? I hadn't entered the property. The owner gave me permission to enter the property. Um, they said that under the warrant that I wasn't able to enter the property. And I said, well, right. can I see the warrant? Because if the warrant okay. affects me, shouldn't I be able to see the warrant? Did they warn you before they made contact on your body? Yeah. They did. Okay. I just want to make sure. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm being fair on all this because she has it recorded and we're documenting it again. So this woman that only comes up to my shoulders, they brought extra force. Um, yeah. All right. She has her documentation. I want to know where you are standing. In case things change, and it'll kind of match because your your video is going to be like like right there, but at least from a distance. Now the officer did not say we had to stand on the street, which is over there. They said we can stand right here. So so let's retrace this here. Um, how's your average citizen supposed to know where they can actually stand? Because at times we were told the street. And now apparently there is an easement that you can step before the true property line. You can stand. Now if you're standing on that side of the gate, or this side of the gate, um, I, we, we do still have freedom of speech, I thought. And if she's speaking, they might not like what they hear. But is it reasons to put your hands on a person? I don't believe so. Uh, did you ever make contact with him? Did you reach out to him or look aggressive or act like you're going to no. smack him, slap him, I kick him, hit him? I wasn't going to stop anything they were doing. I wasn't going to impede. I wasn't going to interfere, but I just wanted to do it. Okay, but you didn't make any contact with him? No. First contact was made by the officer. Yeah. Thank you very much. And only contact with Okay. No, I'm, I'm, I'm documenting this so nobody has any questions. Where's the officer that did this? Which officer was here when that happened? It was Officer Carter. Officer Carter. Which officer was it that made hand co contact on this woman? Yeah, one of your officers did. All right. Well, she has video. We, we'll look that up. Like I said, okay, and for people that are, are filming now, there is apparently, there is a line. I'm clarifying this for the public so we don't have anybody else get hands on. Um, we know you can have, act, the street is public, but apparently the, e, like the easement, like typically what would be your sidewalk area for a property, you can film in a sidewalk type area. So the next time they tell you no, this group officers, as you can see, claim we can't. So, you guys get confused on it. Um, in regards to actually seeing what takes place in regards to the animals and the owner's rights, you will see probably next to nothing towards that. They definitely kept us separated. Uh, 
went out of their way to keep us separated. Ah, uh, we have, we had two, what is it, two pigeons? Two pigeons. Two pigeons that flew up. So in CDFA fashion, that will mean there will be a 22 or a Pelican being used today. Because that's how CDFA handles birds that are not caged. Now, what is the police department going to do when there's guns being used behind that house? And they will. They can't net them. They will destroy every bird tonight. So, there are two birds up on that roof. And everybody that's watched any video here knows if you can't catch them, you can't net them, they will use a 22 or a Pelican. Now, this yard is not very, I don't know how deep it is. It could be a half acre-ish. But you gotta put your house somewhere. So, being that said, you got about a quarter of an acre to shoot a Pelican or a BB gun. Or not, Pelican or, or a 22, my bad. Um, how far can it go? CDFA has missed and hit a goat before. CDFA has missed and broke windows before. Let's see what they do today. Oh, oh snap. I guess they're gonna they're gonna arrest the whole neighborhood. Oh and there's two in that one. There's two in that one. Oh snap. Bill, are you going down? Oh hell, why not? I what the hell? It's not on my you know it's a bucket list. What the hell? I've never been arrested. What am I gonna get arrested for standing here? Woo. Two more officers showing up? Yeah, two more officers showing up. Jennifer, that's the officer there. Which one? Uh, the one in the... In the oh! Hell. She just turned around and he's walked forward. The officer that grabbed her is at the gate side. At the gate on the inside. Tag. You're it. You grabbed a woman's arm. Where's a female officer? Nope. Not a one. All right. Here we go. Might as well get a license plate. On the public street, guys. Very public here. I'm only armed with a phone that has camera access on it. That's all I'm armed with. You guys are the ones with the weaponry. CDFA is the one with the weaponry. We have a voice. We have recordings. We scare you. They haven't got out of their vehicle. There you go. And she's never left her building or her car. She's probably watching us on Facebook Live and telling them what we're doing. Because I was thinking about this the other night. And they always know when we're live. But that's because they have the... I know it's periodically I'll see a woman sitting in a car. So I think what they're doing is they're following us and telling us where we're standing. Just to let you know. birds to the front so that we can tape and also so they're not contem they're not contaminating your whole property and they don't have to throw a warrant for anything else okay. bring their butts up here
wait, wait. That's awesome. He walked up in it. Oh, you, you and guys, you, got back there. you guys, are, this is a disease control scent. Like, you know, someone from CDC, please, well, guys, well, help well, us. We Went there back. in all whites and took them off in the middle of the yard and walking out here. Now, this is supposed to be a spreadable, contagious disease. A level two. Let me make this clear. Biosafety CDC level two. And he just took all the garments off. Now, they're not done. So. I can say that the neighborhood has come out. There's several people. I've never seen them before, but they have come. One of the guys in this crowd had got to know his own self. But the neighborhood has come out, if nothing else, to share a video, which is fine. Which is fine. They might see some. They might have been here way before me and seen something that we didn't see, or even witness our little partner in crime here that got shoved. to be, you know, like uh, anyone we meet in the, in the neighborhood, we say hi, no matter who it is, and then uh, yeah. we always try to help each other. And then, but on the other wall, It's an older neighborhood and everybody knows everybody kind of thing. Yeah. Everybody's been longtime residents, know each yeah, other. It's good. Everyone came out to, everyone that could probably came out to support. You know, like I, like I said, all on board for everybody exercising their rights. I, uh, I, did, I have, honestly, I don't know. This is the largest amount of police force we've seen. We've seen where they had three, but this is this yeah. is excessive. This is very excessive. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna go and I'll be back in uh, 15 minutes. Oh, they won't be done. Uh, they they won't be done because they uh, no, they have to. Be at least an hour. They gotta catch the birds in the buckets that are in the truck right there. Uh -huh. They're gonna have to put them in like in a. They make a little gas chamber. Put them in the bag and then the gas. It'll be it'll be a while. That's you can come back. No violence. Be... No, no, we can't go. On. We. No, there's. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be a violent. Like it's not gonna be a violence. We're not gonna get ourselves arrested. Right. But. No one. If yeah, anyone gets violence. arrested, it's gonna be because they're lying, as they have this whole time, saying that we did something we didn't. We didn't do. We we're standing at an entry to a gate. I mean, how do you get? How do you? How do you communicate and go to your neighbor's house? Don't you go up to the gate? I mean, is yeah. it no different? Us standing at the gate should be no different than any other human you know, being standing people. at the gate. But one of our female uh, crusaders um, got confronted because she stood in front of the gate. She was not on the other side of the property and forcibly had to be pulled out. That's what everyone needs to remember. She was not on the other side of the not gate. She was on inside. this side of the gate and got forcibly removed. Like respecting the sign. Yeah, she respected the sign. Not, she did not, not go through. Right. So, I mean, that she, she didn't do anything wrong. Was she upset? I, I hadn't even seen the video. I'm sure she was. I sure she no, was. No, she was very calm. Oh, Wendy? What she? She was extremely calm. When that happened? Extremely calm. Oh shit! Extremely calm. You would have, you would have thought, you know. You oh, I 
I thought it was me or Carrie. <laughs> but no, Wendy was extremely calm and she, she knew her right. She said, you're impeding on my right to film. You're, you're not letting me through. You got a picture of, or you have a record when he grabbed her arm? Uh, she has it, I think. Yeah, okay. Because I showed up right, right, right after it. I showed up, there was already cars and everything on the street. And I got here, uh, what was it, 4, 440, 440. What's he doing? Get him, get him, get him. He's trying to back up. I think he's trying to back him up. What? Another kill truck. Huh? Yeah. Let's remember this kill truck yeah. was parked. The, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. the lady with the camera does not want to be uh, video. Oh, okay. She's asked, she's asked not to be. Uh, was parked at this other yard, the neighbor's yard. So, in fact, there's not one. Thinking about it, there's not one CDFA truck that's parked. At the address. All parked over there. Huh. Can I get a ticket right here? It's illegal. Uh, but you have our police enforcement backs anything they do. Including going the wrong way on the street. Can we get a ticket? This is illegal right here. I wouldn't do that. I'd get a ticket. Thank you. I'd let you know because officers ask us who the person is that drying. They now have window covers on their windows. They did not have that. That's a new thing. So letting you guys know there's window covers now they're putting their visors down. We'll see you when you walk out. They're not the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, no. When they walk out of the vehicle, we'll see them. So you might as well put your visor back up. I'm going to record you when you walk out. They don't train their drivers or what? Like I said, not the... Not the sharpest tool in the shed. That's what my grandparents would have said. <laughs> like, I think some of these tools have some rust on them. Oh, they also got covers on the back of their trucks now. Look at that, fancy. I know, They're, because We're we have busted them. Places. They're covering their vehicles now. We've been educating them quite well. Why not show your face? I already got it. You got it twice. I know. Well, they got to come out eventually. That's probably their factors. They've got to come out eventually. They don't think that of her, clearly. And we're not paying you to stay in the truck. All right. And honestly, now that the trucks have covers, there could be other dead chickens in there since we've seen the trucks without covers 
have other dead chickens in the back of the truck and not supposed to cross contaminate, but now they're covering it. And you think they're gonna open it up and let anybody see? No, they're backing the trucks in. No one can see. Bucket truck with kill in the sample box. Future dump truck. That suit's been sat in. Okay, look at the creases on the legs right there. That suit's been used. It's not a new suit. There's creases. It's not a new suit. And this one over here. You know when you sit down and... I, you've had your clothes wrinkled before. When you sit down in something and it wrinkles up and wads up, makes a little tiny wrinkle marks. A new suit would not be wrinkled and creased yet. Be smooth. Bring the birds to the front. Don't forget our officer that's holding the gate back there. That's the one that grabbed me. That one. It's home. It's home, yeah. Look, he just throws, he throws old biosecurity shit away. Look at Why did you show up in a biosecurity suit, but you just threw it away? Is it because it's too hot? Or because you were at another kill site? suit on once you're here apparently she just came that I don't even know where she came from she just came from across the street walking right in she just came well you guys saw it she just came in What's with that vehicle? Is it one of our protesters you guys are watching out for? In that vehicle that just passed? It's a vehicle that went down the street and the cops were all alert about it. I don't know why. All right, guys, so, waiting for him to get ready. Here's your tax dollars at, at work here. We have someone on a horse, but that's it. He's just a regular guy, just a neighbor guy. Oh, we got two more. Jesus, man. Party on Lindsay Street. Honestly, officer, you seem like a cool guy. What is with all these cops? I mean, seriously. I thought you guys had a lot. There's two more right behind you. What is this? I mean, you gotta admit, this is, come on. You gotta admit, this is crazy. 
Can I get your names, please? What's your name, sir? What? Okay, what is your name, please? Officer Montoya. Thing. Okay, now they're blocking this gate. We've not even stood at this gate. I, I actually don't know what happened. Anyway, I, I am sorry. Um, can I get your badge number? I forgot to ask that. I, I'm not really good at this. I'm new at this. What's your badge number? That's uh, 19492. All right, thank you. What's your? 17481. Say, can you say it again? I can't hear. 17481. Thank you. Sure. All right, so now we have both gates. I don't know what they think we're going to do. Climb the fence or something? I'm really... I, I don't know if you guys are informed. This is in regards to chickens. You do realize you guys are guarding the CDFA to kill a chicken. Well, actually, we saw a pigeon fly up. And they will be using it again. They're, and I'm not... I'm just being honest with you. You guys have guns, so you guys know how to use them. Um... Just to help you guys, uh, bring you up to speed. If the bird's in a cage and they can catch it, they'll catch it. They'll net it. If they cannot net it, they will use a pellet gun or a 22. So just letting you guys know that CDFA, if they cannot catch a bird and it's flying, they will use a pellet gun or a 22. So you guys and them have the weapons. We just have phones. But I, I don't know if they're bringing the extra force here because they might be using a, a, a gun on this property because I can see pigeons in the background flying and stuff like that. So I don't know if they plan on using for, you know, a gun. I'm really not, I, I don't understand why there's so much police presence. I've, it, but there are definitely pigeons flying around up and down on that little red building back there. So they might have brought you guys because they're shooting tactics. You know, when there's a local drug bust, is, this a, is there this many cops? Hey, neighbors. Hey, 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 hey. You know, it's like when there's a drug bust or something, do they get this many cops here? Hey, one of my when neighbors. When I see the cops, maybe three or No, it looks like a, like a raid, huh? No, no chickens. <laughs> I, it, it looks like there was a, a you know, a, a, a murder or a shootout or something here. I, uh, like, I mean, I, I can't even, I can't even keep up with this. This is like crazy, like cray cray. I mean, dude, it's a chicken. It's a pigeon. Can we stay focused here? Us that are showing up just wants to make sure that the paperwork was written correctly. It's the right house address. They, in Roma Land, they went to someone's property. I don't know if you knew this. In Roma Land, uh, just this last week, they went to someone's property and they got the wrong address and started killing the animals. After they killed four, they found out it was the wrong address and said, "Oh, I, I'm sorry," <laughs> and left. So yeah, homeowners want to know what you know what what's what's going on. And you know, read. Can you read the paperwork? Because we've had people, Spanish families, that get English paperwork and don't know, understand what they're signing. And not to me, it's more like a legal document. So even if you English and read English, you might not understand a legal document. Um, wow. Excessive. Whatever you do, the, uh, the black officer don't call him servant, even though he's a public servant. He gets all butthurt when called servant. Oh. My bad. Well, I didn't call him servant. I well, call him. called him a public servant and he got all buttered because he was called the word servant was in there. Okay. Well, well, he should get butthurt about the word public. 
Because he's not serving the public. That's well, the second word on the vehicle is service. He says that he doesn't. He's not. He doesn't service the public. That he doesn't work for the public. He, he works, works for the state. state. That's about the most ignorant statement I've ever heard. Oh, is that a recording? Actually, I, I might have a recording because uh, I was standing right there when he made that comment. Oh wow. He, he, Talk about ignorant. I don't work for the people. I, I work, work for the, the state. state. That well, that is, okay, then that would ignorant. explain a lot why ignorant. the California State Department of Agriculture, uh, you're paid for it. He's a state employee. There you go. There you go. Hi, Paul. Uh, is Paul Kill, Kill Law? Huh? Is Kill Law Paul? Who's Paul? The one in the blue? We went with the hat. Oh, okay. The gray shirt. Oh, okay. That, yo, Hi, uh, Paul. I didn't see him there. You guys are with the California Rural Crime Task Force. How come you guys are out here where it's not too rural? Let's see. I swear, man, this street is just it blowing me away. Oh! Here's the thing with the biosecurity spraying of the tires. To do a correct one, guys, listen up. Um, to do a correct one, the person should be in the vehicle and you spray it, vehicle rolls up about one or two feet so you can get a complete rotation of the tire and you can do the side that is missing. About a fifth of that tire will not be sprayed because it's sitting on the ground still and there's nobody in the vehicle. So when they take off and leave, a fifth of those tires are not sprayed. Thank you very much, OSHA, and CDC, CDC. And any hazmat, they're going to go to the dump site, no hazmat on these vehicles at all, but we've noticed that before. But at least they have covers on the trucks this time. Last time they didn't have bed covers, and so if they dropped a load on the freeway, comment on SOB. I know, really? They upgrade every time. Every time we make a comment on SOB, they, they change, they up their game. Right, girl? We should be the auditors. I mean, really, we should be getting paid for this shit. If we would have saw the original videos compared to these videos, they are getting better. They got little screen covers on their windows, on the side windows, so now if they harass us and follow us, we cannot see their face at all. Yeah, I'm sorry. CDC earlier when we were talking about the spray, I said OSHA. My bad. I got my agencies mixed up. Oh well. But yeah, only a fifth of those tires are any good because a true spray of the tires would be a, a rotation. So you spray the outside of it and the treads, but didn't move the truck. So the underneath the tires, all four tires. I've not been sprayed still contaminated. and still content. Yeah, because a, a true, a good spray, I like said, you got, you got to have someone in the vehicle. They do the spray and then you roll it up about two, three feet. And then you do the spray for the side that's not hit, you know, not sprayed on. So 
you know, I don't, you know, we might miss a kill zone, but guys, you're still not doing it right. You're still not doing it right. Get the drug dealers and criminals off the streets, not our healthy birds. Still not doing it right. Oh, and by the way, this particular yard has some little weeds and whatever, so it's brushing up underneath that truck right there. So, yeah. Nothing personal, homeowner, but I'm just saying, anything rubbing up against that truck, if your birds are contaminated, is riding underneath that truck. So, yeah. The spray job they do on the tires of the truck are just for looks. They don't mean it. They don't mean shit. They don't mean shit. Let's see what our two little cops doing over here. You guys are guarding nothing. There's those pigeons. Let's have like a little pigeon house. I don't know if you can see it really good, but there's pigeons flying back and forth. Some people have much better phones than I do, but once in a while you'll see a pigeon fly back and forth. Those, yeah. Those will be fun to try to get. And uh, with their habit of using a weapon to get them, that's why they don't want us here, I think, on this side here, because they're going to probably use a weapon to get them. Cause we, we we have an extreme amount of police presence here. Extreme. Um, I believe they're protecting the neighbor's property at this point. There. I don't know. Is it the neighbor's I, I or is it theirs? Oh, well then maybe it is. Are separated from these ones. I know, but is it his house or the neighbor's house? I can't tell because there's like something in the yard. Yeah, that's the neighbors. Oh, this is the neighbors? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, my husband knows pretty well. Oh, okay. All right, then my bad. Okay, this is a neighbor's driveway. They're protecting the neighbor's right. Oh, then that means they're keeping us from going in. The neighbor's driveway. Well, I mean, we didn't get their attention. We didn't ask to go there. Yeah, if they looked it up. I guess it's a neighbor's driveway. Making sure you don't go past it to ask if you can video, I guess. I knocked, I, I knocked at the door. Are they home now? Because I knocked at the door and nobody answered the door. So they're either either not home, they might be at work, or they were too scared, but no, I did no, knock no. at the door. Um, there was a guy out there. I was calling to him, but he wouldn't do so Oh, well, let me, well, well, we can do it. I'd, I'd rather ask the neighbor and get permission because we have his permission. I'd rather ask the neighbor get permission. Because I tried knocking one time. I'm going to try one more time at the, this neighbor's house and see. I knocked earlier and there was no answer, so they either didn't want to answer or they may be in the back. I'm going to try one more time. Man, I want her. I want her job to sit in a vehicle and watch what other people are doing and get paid. By the way, they don't have a warrant to this house, so. Hello? Hello? That's here either. Either they're not home or anybody back here. I would get their attention if I saw somebody back here, but I don't see anybody. All right. Try it, guys. I don't know who you are. Are you talking to 
talking to the senior lady. It's just whoever goes with them goes with them for the day? Okay. He's saying he believes if we were on the property, we wouldn't even be able to get off the property. That's how most typical warrants are how, how work. Well, normal warrants work. We'll, we'll get all your info on the property, but you would have to get all your info on the property. Okay. And then you're free to leave. Okay. But, um, but what if we refuse to do so just like they've been refusing? That'd be CDFA's call. Well, okay. We have a problem so with that because... Does that mean that you're taking your orders from CDFA at no, that point? No. So we, we, we serve the... Hey. Somebody got here? What's that? Somebody got here? No, you would no, think, yeah. huh? You even would my, think? My daughter told me that she said happen right now. Oh, somebody got here in the neighborhood. Just the birds. The birds tell her. The, I mean, it's a bird the killer. Birds. It's not the... They're not... No it's one crazy, got murdered. Huh? It, no one got murdered. It, it, where my money goes? That's okay. where your money goes. Yeah. Well, Thank except you. for that guy. He says your money doesn't go to him. He oh. says he, he works for the state, not the people. No, they have oh, cops okay. here. There's two to, over here. What doesn't go to... Uh, okay. There's two over there, all here, right here. It, excessive. But, sir, if your truck got stolen tomorrow morning, it would, they would ask you to wait an hour and a half and do a police report. But yeah, they kind okay, of yeah, chill a money, chicken, my, and there's okay, like yeah, right, seven right, people I, here. I, I understand now. Yeah. With all my money goes. Now, there's a cop on the property, too. There's a cop in the property, too. There's about eight cops here today. What, somebody got shot? No, they're trying to kill a chicken. So the only way to really test that theory would be for me to be on the property I, when you guys get there I mean, and see what CDF said, yeah, he says. That'd be up to you. Okay. Okay, so, uh, I have a question though, since you since you know the law better than we do. I don't know the C he is very helpful. He says he <laughs> no, doesn't no, know no. the law, okay? But, but I mean, the no, CDFA has threatened to arrest us when we're already on the person's property. That happened to, to me and another protester about a week ago. We were with the owner, standing with him. We were on his porch and they told us that we would get arrested and they were going to call the police they threatened to have us arrested now can, do they have that authority they're not cops do they have that authority i honestly don't know because i don't know who told you that exactly no the guy right here the way uh, uh, the one that calls himself paul law enforcement within cdfa yeah. i just don't know who told you that so i can't yeah no I, we only know first names because they don't address the rest of their name not even to the homeowners the homeowners do not know who's coming to their house because it's a blanket oh, yeah. kill order. I just, I just don't want to, uh, I don't want to taste something. You don't work for the people. You don't want to do that. Yeah, no, I thank you. Thank you, man. They should provide you with plenty of water, dude. Thank you, neighbors, for coming out. Because oh, even though he, I mean, we, they're blocking us from everything, but at least he knows his neighborhood is here for him. And by looking, you know, when, when you look out and you see people realize it's wrong, just your presence lets, lets any homeowner, even myself, know that what's happening is wrong and my neighbors see it's wrong. Because what can people do? We can speak and spread the word and warn our neighbors warn our neighbors this is what happens right here let your neighbors know this is this is what happens i mean we just had a guy that said that they uh they just said a guy that said that his wife they were beating on the door because she was in the house and she was too scared to answer the door be down there before they put they find him the paperwork on the door it's not 
Yeah. People need to be aware. People need to be aware that they're a bully. They're bullies. And people need to be aware. So thank you for your presence because everyone knows we walk around with phones nowadays. We can record their stuff and mistakes and errors. And where's one of our Hoopa Valley Councilmen? Hooper Valley Council, your neighborhoods are being terrorized. Where are you? CDFA and the Police Department and Sheriff Department are doing your code enforcement. Where are you, Hoopa Valley Council? I'm gonna put my phone down for a moment. I can't see anything. They have everything in the back. But there's really, there's nothing, nothing going on right now. I'll turn it back on in a minute, something does. Bye.